Hey everyone. So have you ever wanted to link your Azure notebooks to a GitHub account? Well, in this video, I'll show how you can do exactly that. So the first thing to do to get started is to uh, first make sure you have a GitHub account. And when you do, you want to go up to your corner here and go down to settings. On the left hand side here, you go to developer settings and then do personal access tokens because you need to give Databricks a token so it can communicate to GitHub here. You're going to generate a new token and you might have to put in your password, but once you do that, you'll get uh, redirected to this page here. And in this note here, I'm going to say this token is for Azure Databricks. Now you want to select the scopes that your token has access to. And since we're just reading and writing to a, a repository here, I'll just click the repo scope and I'll leave the rest of the links blank because it doesn't need any of these scopes. Then I'll click generate token. Then you have your token appear here. You want to make sure you copy it here and save it off somewhere. If you don't save it here, then you won't have access to it again and you will need to generate the token again. So now that you have the token generated, let's go to Azure Databricks and see how to link a notebook to my repository. All right, so I'm in Azure Databricks here, and I'm in a notebook that that I want to put into a GitHub repository. So first thing is, I go up to the right-hand side here, and I go to User Settings here. And in here, I go up to Git Integration. Then I tell Git Provider is GitHub. And then here's where I paste that token that we just generated. And save it. Now we'll go back to that notebook that we had open before. Now we'll go over to revision history. You see git not linked here. So we click that and we tell it to link. And in this link field here, this is the repository that we want to link to. We tell what branch to link to and then the path within the repository that we want to save it to. So I click save. There we go. And I saying this this file doesn't exist in Git yet, we can make an initial commit. There we go, so now everything's synced to Git. If we go over to that repository here, we see here's that notebook that we just saved to Git now. Just wanted to show how to link an existing notebook or any notebook really and your Azure Databricks workspace to GitHub. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.